Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. You know, with this job, you take a lot of things for granted. One of the things is uh, kissing your kids and your wife goodbye. Sometimes when I'm leaving the house and, you know, just giving them a goodbye, you, you don't think about it until things go sideways out here and realize that, you know, one of these days you might not come home. And those are some of the things you, uh, you really take for granted out here. So. I make sure when I tell them bye that, you know, I mean it and that uh, I'm going to be home safe and okay. That's one of my main goals out here is making sure that I get home safe. Right now we're being uh, dispatched with deputy as uh, he's running after a suspect who was in the back of his car, busted out the window and has escaped on foot. So he's screaming for our help and he's chasing after the guy on foot. So we're. We're going to have to back him up, see if we can catch this guy. We'll get him. We're behind him. Hold on. Oh. I didn't have no second. Stop. Quit Dude. resisting. Dude, he, he's biting my arm. He's biting my arm. 3511-11-5. We need more units, 11-11. You ain't getting up. You are not getting up. We're just west of Taco Bell. We need more units. He's fighting us. Dude, you ready to? Uh, have a hard time breathing, man. Roll us medical aid. We need medical aid for a doubt. Dude, you got my arm. He's biting my arm. Let go. Stop resisting. Let go. Let go. Fifteen, you copy? We need medical aid for a doubt. We got medical aid. No. Right here by me. Go ahead, go ahead and pull up. His arms underneath me. Roman, just clear. We're gonna be. We got so many people here. We can take care. Oh, Roman, you're good, buddy. Okay. Yeah, man, you gotta... I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. 10 to him, 10 to him, we got right. him. All right, all right. Ready? Okay. It was just gonna be a simple uh, child molest, child annoyance call. That's what he's gonna be charged with now. Now he's gonna be uh, charged with uh, assault on a police officer as well as those other calls. Dude, as soon as you guys left, I want you to go tell that little girl and her mom what was going on. Right. He's going to jail now. I heard him kicking the window and I ran over and by the time I got there, dude, he was already out and running. And I grabbed him, I threw him to the ground and he, he tried to hit me. Like, and we, we put you right? on. You all right? Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's, uh, I, I got a broken nose. Okay. All right. Well, when we go ahead and have a seat, all right? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. It's a good thing you got here, man. I was running out of juice. Huh? I was running out of juice. I went, to, I went to go re-interview my victim just to get some uh, more detailed information from her, and that's when he kicked out the window, and as soon as I came up to the car, I went to 
grabbed him, he's screaming and yelling and clawed at me and he got out of my grasp and the foot chase was on. Well, as soon as I, I took our run, I saw you, I came behind him, he was running behind this bush and uh, came up right behind him and I was gonna tackle him and he just let me have it one time, man, one, square. One. I saw the square, hit. Square in the nose me. and I, oh, he punched me square. As soon as right he, in the locker, man, I just felt my blood just as soon as splatter he him, all over me, man. I brought the stick and then out I, and I started. And then I grabbed, then I he hit me again him. and I grabbed him threw him down the ground, and we just went at it until Birmingham got out here. I haven't had a fight like that in a long time. You all right, buddy? I just had one a couple weeks ago. Now you got a busted nose. I got a busted nose now. I got his urine, his feces all over my pants. Yeah, he was biting, he was biting my arm. Where'd he bite you? Right here. Oh, dude, you need to get I was that trying, I was trying to push him off my one year. I had him around the neck and it carotid, but he was biting me. That's why I said, keep, keep hitting him, he's biting me. He wouldn't suck. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna wash this guy off. We've got blood all over our uniforms. Uh, he's defecated himself, urinated on himself. Basically, it's, it's a, a health issue for all of us as well as him. So we're gonna get him cleaned up, and uh, he'll be taken down to the hospital to get his uh, injuries treated. As of right now, we're just gonna uh, we're gonna wash him off and clean out the back seat of our patrol car. Why you guys arrest me first? Why the guys arrest me in the first place? Well, I didn't. I, I think the deputies told you that. Why? We put him in a different car. Why did you guys do me a favor and face me, Jeff? Why did you guys arrest me in the first place, guys? Huh? But why did you guys Maybe arrest me? Problem, man, I didn't do nothing. So there's no way I get to go, huh? No Fortunately, we're not going to let you take off tonight. What did I just say? I don't know why you guys arrested me in the first place. The suspect who was seen in the local motel uh, fondling juveniles, he was also seen attempting to lure them in with a $100 bill. And uh, once again, we were able to get another sexual predator off the streets. My dad was a, uh, a very strict man. He was a pastor of a church for about 35 years and brought me up with some real strict morals and some good guidelines for living life out here. And, you know, there's just, uh, there's some situations when you get out here and some of the things that he's taught me have uh, really come in handy and trying to help out some of the kids and, you know, trying to guide some of the wary and wayful use in there misguided directions. 45 on Iowa. RP is advising, RP Mr. Wallace is advising the same information. However, advising two Hispanic now adults physical with the victim. All right, we're in route to a uh, assault with a deadly weapon. There's a person at a uh, fast food restaurant who's been stabbed to the head. So we're about 30 seconds out. Zero twelve ninety seven. Zero twelve ninety seven. Fifty nine seven. Fifty nine seven. Seven ninety seven. He got stabbed and he wandered into my restaurant and then uh he said someone took his kid, and I saw some guy grabbing a little kid running. Grab, across. grab the trauma kid out of the back end, under the seat of the car. Just trying to put some pressure on here, but I don't okay. know. Okay. Jude, and some gloves, please. The guy who had the kid. Okay. He was in a, who, in a car or truck or something. He stood right in front of that liquor store. He's probably on security. His name, okay. his name is Oscar. Okay. His name is Oscar. So that's all I got out of him. So. Let me see it. Oscar, I know you do. You gotta stay calm, okay? Everyone's gonna be here to help you, but you gotta help yourself. Stay calm. Pull me out some gauze out there, man. I know, Oscar. Breathe through your nose, okay? Hey, Oscar, man. We got the paramedics and the nose. and the fire engine okay. route, okay? Carrie, just, just hold. I know. You wonder where your who's at? I want to know where my kids at. Home. I know. Okay, so hold on. His kids? I, just, I saw. Give me some I saw, more. Like three guys Give fighting in the parking lot. Give me right that here. big pad that's in there. One guy came in, and another larger guy ran off with a little kid in yeah. his hands. He said his kid is three years old. And they went to the liquor store across the street and there was a car park guy in front of them. Going on the car. Okay, you want to cover What's the that? Oh, no, hold on, no, 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 no. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet man. Okay. Don't take that off. I'm not, don't take yeah, that off. Just leave it on there. Hey, where's my son? I thought it was Oscar? Oscar, what is your son's name again? And, uh, Ruben. Ruben is his son's name, okay? He said he's three years old. Okay, go ahead, go ahead and take that off. I'll, I'll take it. Get, I'll take it. No, 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 keep that on there, dude. 
I don't know. After I saw him fist fighting, the, the, the other guy was just standing there. I walked away. I thought it was open two more of those. Ten minutes later, when I seen this, dude, open two more of those for me. I can describe them. And there's a blue van over there, man. Okay, Big, who did this to you, man? I don't know. Who it was. You don't know who it was. He was saying he didn't I know. Who it was. Son. Okay, where, was your son with you when this happened? Yeah, he was with me. Okay, where were you at when this happened? At the store. What's that? At the store. Give me, yeah, give me two more. At the store, which store? At the market over there across the street? Yeah. Okay. I just want my son back. Okay, how old is your son? What does he look like? We'll go look for him. He has, he's like bald headed with some bangs on the forehead. Okay, what's his name? His name is Ruben. Okay, what was he wearing when you last saw him? Okay, just keep your hands to the side, man. He was in a blue pants. He was in a blue what? He was with blue pants. He had blue pants on, and what else did he have on? Oh. Yeah. Okay, if we're gonna go look for him, if he's gonna go home, oh, where's home at? Son, okay, where is he gonna go? I live in Glenny, one time. Okay, can he walk? Yeah, he can walk. Uh, I can walk too, I wanna go look for him. Did somebody hit him also? No, nobody hit him. Okay, did he take off running? No, they took him from me, homie. They took him from you? <laughs> yeah. Who oh, was it? You don't know who it is? No. You have no idea. So back, I don't know Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Okay. Okay, he got stabbed oh. in the head, and we just pulled the shirt up right now, and it looks like he's been stabbed right here also. So. Oscar, do you know these guys? No, I don't know. Who was it? Did he they take they, your kid? Yeah, he said they took his kid. It was my son. I thought it was Oscar. Oscar, what is your son's name again? If we're going to find your kid, you're going to have to work with us and help us. I don't know who it was. I don't know if that was the one they were in, but there was a blue Astro van with a couple of kids. So I'd probably Pat him down real quick, his pockets down, if you can. Yeah, and they walked away from each other, and I don't even think he knew that he got stabbed. He walked away like everything. It was the end of a fist fight. Did you see him take his take? No, I didn't know what had gone on. I came out in the middle of it, and I looked over across the street, and there was a larger Mexican dude holding the child like this. Okay. The kid didn't look distraught or nothing, and everything just looked like a fist fight, man. So okay, I went back to Did you see what kind of car they got into? No, no, no. Did you see which way they went? No. no like I said, as soon as, as soon as the fight broke up here, I walked back in. OK. You live they around got here? His, um, uh, actually, I'm looking at Orange Crest right now. OK. What's your name? Uh, Kevin. OK, what's your name? Oscar, right? OK, Oscar. If you know who this was, you need to let us uh, know, OK? We're going to go help. We got this right. We've got a um, laceration to the left side. This is going to be gang related. I, I think he knows exactly who these guys are that took his kid and who stabbed him. Uh, but because of his gang affiliation, he didn't want to say who it is. So um, it's putting us in kind of a bind. One of the witnesses said that uh, he heard that he was going to go get it back to his house, get his gun, and take care of this himself. So he knows who it is. Right now, he's not saying anything. But maybe once he maybe once he gets to the hospital and. Uh, uh, okay. Once he gets to the hospital, and maybe gets doped up a little bit, and maybe he'll cooperate with us. Yeah, uh, Deputy Juge has got his uh, information. Okay. Looks like our our victim's not gonna die. His injuries are non-life threatening, and he's now en route to community hospital. And it ends up that the three-year-old boy is not kidnapped. And we have located where he's at. We got a deputy in route to go pick him up and bring him back to our location. Here he is now. Is he okay? Yeah. Okay. What's up, Ruben? Are you okay, man? Have five? You okay? It's all good. All right. Okay. Wanna go? Yeah. I'm glad he's okay. There's a fight. You know, it's sad about what happened. The guy gets stabbed in the head and stabbed in the chest and not cooperating with us, but the absolute best news is that we found that little boy, so at least he's okay, man. That's that's the best news. That's the best way to end this day. I just got a wave down from this woman over here. It says her uh, four-year-old son is, or uh, brother is missing. She lives in the apartments just around the corner, and she's been searching for him for a couple hours. A lot of times when these kids walk away, they're, they're in, right in the immediate vicinity, but it doesn't occur to the parents to do a real thorough search. So they'll start searching uh, around the block instead of right at home first. So we'd be, like to begin our search very close quarters and then work outward from there. Hi there. No, we haven't found him. We're oh. looking right now. Are you a relative or family or yeah, what? Yeah, relative right here. He's taking me riding around and looking for him right now. Okay. Uh, is I'm is the mother right home? There. Yeah, your address is right there. Yes, yeah, he's right there. She'll give you the description. Right where he's wearing and everything right now. Okay. Um, 
All you say is if you find it, make sure you come back here and let her know so she can call well, us because we're all going to start. Okay. All right. Very good then. Uh, all right. All right. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Kind of looks like him right there. No, we haven't. We just got the information now. We just started looking. Are you the mother? Okay, hon. relax. Uh, you know, don't worry about it. We've got a bunch of people are looking right now. There's a couple of truckloads of people out there looking for him. And, he won't uh, go anywhere. He doesn't know any. And he does. He he okay. doesn't go in no one's car. He's he never does any of that. We checked all the dumpsters. We checked everywhere. Okay. This is him when he was smaller. His face still looks the same, but he's got curly hair like him. Okay. A little bit taller than him. Okay. I mean, a little bit taller than this now. Okay. He doesn't look his uh, age. He's very how, how small. How old is Christina? Christina's how old four. Christina? Four. Four and a half. Four, four and a half. Hi, Christina. Christina. Can I talk to you for a minute, honey? Yeah, did, did you play with Dominique? Were you playing with Dominique out here? And you know where he went? He went over there in the field. He went over there in the field, huh? He kicked a little girl, and he got scared, and he ran that way. He ran okay. there. He got scared that he was going to get in trouble, so he ran, okay. so he ran out there. I'll tell you what, who's the oldest one here? Me. Did you see which way he went and which field he was playing in? He went that way. He went that way, but is there a field over there? Yeah. Okay. Can you show us where it's at? Okay, Star X-ray one. Did you copy the description of the missing juvenile? Okay. He was last seen running in this area and hiding in some of the bushes here. You know what? I could use everybody here like my army to go look for him. If you see the guy, make sure that you know you, you grab onto him, tell him he needs to go home because the, the sheriffs are looking for him, okay? Okay, and if you if you, you see him, start like, yelling so we can find you. Okay. Okay. All right. Why don't you guys take off and go look for him? Go over there. Go. Did you see him? No, no, little girl. They went red. They ran over there. They ran over there. Okay, he might be a Rico's. What we'll do is we'll go to the uh, car. We'll go around to the pizza parlor, which is on the other side of the store over here. They just said that they see, because I showed him the picture. I just found another picture of myself. They said they seen him. Get away from the car. They seen him with three girls. One of them was light skinned and one of them black with Jerry Crow's, and one of them was um, Latin. They said they were talking to them by the fence, and he, they seen him with them, and they went this way. So what's on that side? Houses. Okay, we've got the Capitalist. There? There's an apartment complex and some duplexes over there. But it's, there is a school down there and a playground. He may be going that way. Oh, but let's check that. Maybe they okay. took him over you there. You wait right here, and I'll, we'll go check moving. that. Okay. I'm not moving. I won't move. The, the citizen of the complex, he says he believes he saw the missing child with three young females and they were headed toward Capitalis. You right there? Yeah. Yeah. Is this Dominique? Yeah, he's yeah. behind the dumpster like him. Okay. Are you okay, guy? You have you to all right? for you, Papa. I'm yeah, we're looking for you. We're really Papa, worried Papa. about you. You see the helicopter? Everybody's looking for you. Hey Dominique, I want you to go I want to take you to your mom right now, okay? Everything's okay, but you got you shouldn't hide like that, guy. You had us all really worried. Yeah. Understand? I'm gonna give you a ride, okay? Me and your sister are going on in the front. Come on. X-ray one. I've located the child. Come on, gay. I'm gonna give you a ride in the car. Okay. Okay. Watch your fingers. He was hiding behind a dumpster. 
There you go. What are you Excuse doing? me, guy. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Where did you find him? Uh, he was hiding behind this dumpster over here. He's been laying over there for a few minutes. I was talking about a picture. Was, was he laying there or yeah, no. sleeping? Why? Or? Why, was he, why were you laying know. there? What happened? Whoops. Excuse me. What happened? What happened? Why did you go behind the dumpster? What happened? Tell me. No. Okay. <laughs> well, so I'm glad we, uh, you're welcome. Thank you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank everybody. I'm glad he's Thank okay. You. He knows now. Right, guy? You know that you're not supposed to hide from us when you hear us looking yeah, for you. Okay? Let me talk to you. Dominic. Dominic. You're welcome. Money. You better take him home. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank okay. You. We'll see you later. Bye -bye. Thanks, yeah. okay. everyone. Thank right. you, everyone. We're happy that he's okay, and uh, I guess his mom was really excited to see him there. So that was a good happy ending. I'm glad we found him. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code three. Thanks, Ted. Get into 2514. Can transmit on tag two. Okay, we'll still send it code three. Gola Balande, 
ಅದ ತೋರ್ಪಿಕಿ ಸರೂರ ಜನಾನ್ ಹೊಸೆ ಪಾಮಗ್ರಾಂದ ಸೋಚ ಗಲತ್ ಗುಮಾನ್ ಕಬೀರಂದ ದಿಶೀರ ಪಾಕುಲೆ ಮೆತಲ್ ಬಮಾಶಲ್ಲಿ ಸೋಮರ ಕಪೇರೆ ಸರ್ಗೆ ಸೈದರ್ ಕಡಿದೀರ ರಕಿ ಬಾಸ್ತಾಲ ದೇದ ಬಾಯಾರ್ ಕುಲಾಗರ ಸೋಮ ರಕಿ ಬಾಸ್ತಾಲ ದೇದ ಬಾಯಾರ್ ಕುಲಾಗರ ಸೋಮ ಕಲಿಕೆ ಖಾನ 